tidbit from that. When you're here, you're going between the arm bar and the sweep. Sometimes if you're on the arm bar, you don't have enough momentum to get the sweep. Maybe the guy's a lot bigger, stronger, he's just using his weight really well. So it's hard for me to pendulum with this leg. So that's where you go from arm bar to sweep to arm bar to sweep, go back and forth, right? So if I take this off to get him over, sometimes you have to do that, right? So that's the little thing I forgot when I was watching the video was, hey, whether you're going here and, and then you add on the arm bar or however you do it, you can go from this position back to here. Keep the arm. As soon as he gets that arm back, the sweep is done. He regains posture, but boom, here. And you may have to, can't finish it, he's stacking me. I can't sweep him, so I take this off and momentum and cut, cut underneath. Right, does it make sense? Yeah, so just a little detail we forgot from last time. So uh, this week, we're gonna be going over, that was when, you're, when your opponent is riding low, doing incorrect things, you know, Pencil and sweep works good for. Obviously, you can do it for this regular guard too. So, so this week we're going over a sweep that's really good when your opponent is sitting back too far. And I see this all the way up. You know, people that are afraid of chokes or you know they know you have a good choke. Yeah, it's usually not that overemphasized, but they stay really high. They don't want to get arm barred. They're just staying here, super high, right? So, look. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come sit up on our elbow. We don't have to have grips for this one, right? There's different ways to do it. You can start to choke them and then take the hand out, but you don't have to do that. So you're just gonna sit up, boom, strong here. And if they're still where they were, yeah, I just have your regular grips here. If they're still here, they're already toast, right? If, I, if they let me get up this high, I'm sorry, if I get up all the way here and they're still like this, they're for sure toast, right? So all you have to do is open your guard Make sure you follow the elbow. That's why it's called an elbow sweep, right? I'm gonna put the elbow in my pocket, put his hand in my pocket, and then I'm just hipping over. Right? Really simple, really effective. Um, I get this on white belts, I get it on brown belts, right? It's all a timing thing, you know? You might take you to choke somebody before they really start to sit back, but regardless, you'll, you'll see this a lot, right? So again, look, I come up here, boom. You can grab a lapel if you want to fake them out. You know, that's all just kind of improv improv improvisation, right? But look, one, two, right? Most people are going to push you down. They're not going to let you sit here. Kind of get your regular grips. So I'm going to come here and he pushes me back down. I come here, push me back down, right? But once I'm here and he's still here, Boom, and I only, need to, I only need to use the elbow as much as I need to do it, right? So if he's still gripping onto me, that's cool. He's still gonna go over, right? Okay, so we're here. Boom. Come up on my elbow. Come up on my hand. Open the guard. And then as soon as I open, I hip, I'm hipping over. Elbow here. Okay, guys. So, partner, we'll work on it on three. One, two.